This is the end of the world, the last point in Greece before the vast Mediterranean Sea reaches the shores of Libya, a liminal point geographically between mainland Europe and Africa. This place is also the mythological entrance to the Greek underworld, the home of Hades and the end of the world of the living. It is here that famed heroes like Odysseus and Heracles descended into hell and encountered Tiresias, Cerberus, and of course Chiron, the ferryman that will take all souls across the river Styx. In antiquity, this peninsula was called Tynaron, but this remote geographic area is today known as the Mani Peninsula and is the subject of my dissertation research. My name is Chelsea Gardner and I am a PhD candidate in Greek archeology span at the University of British Columbia. I work in the barren but beautiful Mani Peninsula, trying to uncover clues about the people who lived here millennia ago. The study of ancient Greece is so dominated by the superpowers of Athens and Sparta that remote regions like Mani don't often receive the attention that they deserve. This is changing, but there are still lots to be done, and there is more to the picture than the biggest cities and the most beautiful temples. My research focuses on this marginal region and specifically on cultural identity formation in harsh landscapes. I ask the question, how do people become who they are as a result of the landscape they live in? Throughout recent written history, the Mani people have created quite the reputation for themselves. Pirates, warriors, and brigands, renowned and notoriously tough fighters who identify strongly with their ancient past. But how far does this identity stretch back? Is this wishful thinking? Or has the identity of those brave enough to subsist on this barren peninsula remained as staunch and unchanging as the landscape itself? I examine the physical remains on the ground, as well as the words written by ancient authors thousands of years ago, to get a better idea of who these people were who settled on this peninsula and shared their home with the entrance to the underworld. As an archaeologist, my shirk funded research allows me to travel around this barren land, recording all evidence of ancient activity, from ruined temples to scatters of potsherds to ancient material robbed and reused in later centuries in churches and other buildings. These fragmentary clues help me to reconstruct the nature of settlements on this peninsula and this evidence, combined with studying the physical environment of this land, with its steep mountains, its rocky cliffs, and its natural harbors to the Mediterranean Sea, contribute to a larger understanding of the nature of settlements in geographically isolated areas. This understanding of liminal existence has a global application since we, as humans, throughout history have been amazingly adaptable at inhabiting all corners of the earth. My research contributes a small piece of the puzzle to the understanding of our capabilities as humans, the nature of history of human settlement, and how interaction with the landscape can make us who we are.